And welcome back to Breast Edge. So, we did a lot of exploring in the last episode. And out there somewhere we want to go, or I want to go, and um, set up a little base for ourselves. What are we going to need for that? So let's take a look here. Uh, equipment, items, tools. What's a new tool? EMP grenade, soil analyzers, beef grenades, and dispenser. Ergonomic handle, tape, tension control and sharp blade. With this set of features, the dispenser becomes a universal tool for a winner. Not only can you board a space station with it, but even board a whole space station and fly back home. Whole spaceship and fly back home. If you know how to board spaceships and which way home is, of course. <laughs> so I think a dispenser is going to come in uh, very handy. Then items, we've got all sorts of new stuff. We've got discharge cells, fuel, explosives, beef pellets, and resources. We've got construction kits. Apart from using 40 kilograms of electrical tape to construct any module, you would also need some more complex tools like chisel and hammer. Every self-respecting astronaut should have such a toolkit. However, it's not easy to find it in the chaos or of debris. It might be easier to make one yourself. Now we did learn how to. military oxygen cylinder I believe no not yet don't think so um, right let's have a look here So I'm going to need an inductor, two refined metal, and thick electric tape For the inductor we're going to need metal, plastic, and two wires I think I used up all my metal in the last so, alright, well, let's go get some metal. Not like there should really be any shortage of the stuff lying around. So why do I need a space station? Well, I need a bed. Need a bed so I can heal properly without having to make uh, first aid kits. Some more metal over here. Right, 
let's make ourselves an inductor. Alright. Well, this we need two refined metal, two thick electrical tape. When you're short on resources, when the risk of death from serious injuries, thirst, hunger and fatigue is high, constructing a three-story mansion will be the best option for you, as evidenced by many similar cases of survival. <laughs> Dispenser is perfect for this tool. For this tool, perfect. Perfect tool for this task. So let's have a look here. So how does this work? Aha. So you select bold. Compartments, modules. <coughs> so I need a construction kit two metal, just a construction kit and just a construction kit. Okay, compartments. Ah, so for this we'll need aluminium, thick electrical tape, resin, titanium, aluminium, titanium, a generator. That's the first thing we've got to put in. That's the second thing we've got to put in. Maybe not, so airlock, power generator, oxygen generator. All right, so what do we need for the modules? We've got two metal on us, we need a construction kit. Actually, uh, let me go do this in oxygen. That way, I'm not wasting oxygen. Okay. So, floor, ceiling, miscellaneous, decor. I don't have a bed, I just realized that. Might have to fly back to the shuttle and scan the bed. And then I can um, 
I can also bring all the resources that I have there back. But okay, so construction kit. Pick up some construction kits. There's one there. But I also learned how to make one. Rubber risen titanium. Let's see you now. So we can build one of these. That's a corridor, that's a tube. So for that we need a construction kit. And for these we just need resources. So that's fine. generator, two more titanium for the generator, two titanium and aluminium for the oxygen generator. So there I need those two, I need another two aluminium, another two titanium, another three aluminium, another four titanium. And I've got the generator, so three aluminium, four titanium. Titanium to aluminium. Now, titanium should not be a problem. So, I need two more titanium. Then aluminium. Okay, let's take a look over there. That would be nice. Let's head off in this direction. 
module over here as good a place as any power of the unicorn achievement <laughs> what the why won't it Achievement required. What does that mean? You're immune to criticism, you're simply the best. Everything you your hands get to touch are great and genius. This achievement is unique. It's meant to be given to no one but you. Everyone else has a fake copy of it. You can construct magnificent buildings and you're completely immune to criticism. Okay, but how do you get it? Do I have to find the unicorn? something all right all right well we know where we're gonna build it now so let me head back I'm mildly annoyed right now. I have the building tool, I have all the materials. But I need the power of the unicorn achievement. And it doesn't tell you where to get that or how to get that, so it's probably need to find a unicorn somewhere that I haven't looked yet which is a bit annoying having flown all the way out to where I wanted to put the base up and a rather silly achievement is required to um, to actually build the habitat I don't know seems a bit a bit shit but then again it could just be the developers taking the piss out of survival games like they normally do so I shall have to figure out where to find that unicorn and get back to you so let me go and have a look for that unicorn and I'll be right back when I, uh, I assume I have found the unicorn. Okay, so this is 
an objective. I'm hoping that this is something that I had to do first before I can build. Uh, maybe this will, maybe I'll find the unicorn or whatever it is I need to do over here. selected. Select module. No. Small yellow. Almost perfect. However, your biometric data shows a fit of acute frustration with the visual implementation of the construction system that doesn't match the given developer's promises and screenshots. The Breath Edge Agency is trying to take care of its customers' mental health, therefore I have to start stimulating your brain to create visual hallucinations. <laughs> your construction system looks more attractive now, but there may be oh, some side effects that are not worth paying attention to. Get inside the module. Okay. Ah, oh, there's oxygen here. Is there oxygen here? There was oxygen here, I think. You need to find the central interphone. If there's anything left undamaged there and you don't try fixing it, then we have a chance. <laughs> okay. So it's not an actual unicorn you have to find. Oh, thank goodness. Detailed plan of the service module. If you find the missing information, you can create such a module yourself. Who knows for what purpose? Medium service module. Okay, so I've got a small service module. I've got a medium now, one now as well. Ooh, what's here? Stuffs. I can take a first aid kit. Case number soda vending machine. Oh, okay. Before using such water, it's recommended to boil it first and then pour it out. <laughs> Ooh, food packs. Ooh, candles. Oh. Let's drink something, eat something. And may as well use that health kit as well. <laughs> oh dear. post was broken before the crash. All the records are missing. Looks like a diversion. Seems like during the crash, they smashed their heads against the car. So I use cigarettes. Which now appears to be non-functional. It's a shame that airbags are not provided in spaceships. <laughs> oh, Unlike modern radios scattered throughout the area, this one uses outdated technology that even you can reproduce, probably. <laughs> Missing modules or evacuation required. Let's scan the radio. So much stuff. The books. I suppose I'll have to come through and collect all of the stuff eventually. Couldn't be fussed to do it right now. You need a special pass, which is issued only to employees of the liner. 
The interphone is out of order, which is to be expected from a commonplace indie video game where the main gameplay is based on... Oh, wait, it actually is in order. However, <laughs> communications are down and the antenna needs to be fixed. Again. Fix the antenna. Uh, fix the antenna. Okay, go through you. Employees only. The antenna miraculously remained intact. You may start debugging, but where's the antenna? I wanted to use the audio file from the first chapter to reduce the cost of... I don't think it'll help. Looks like it wasn't the antenna that caused the problem, but these broken wires. You need to deal with it. I don't think it'll help. Okay. I don't think it'll help. So it gets to 40%. I don't think it'll help. <laughs> I don't think it'll help. Almost at it. I don't think it'll help. The broken wires problem is solved. Try to catch a signal from Normandy. Okay, before we go there. Green Universe was it's here. It's too stupid, even for Green Universe radicals. <laughs> no power. Look here, is, this, is, this is the crew of the funeral service, not shut normally. We've got some water, food, and a cool captain. It's amazing that they are alive. Even with a serious even radiation in activity, it still must be extremely uncomfortable there. I see some activity. Is this your connection with normally? You remember that they are likely to get violence, get eaten and killed, and perhaps not in such order. Don't fly there, please. Okay. She doesn't want us to go to the Normandy. Cool, Captain. Have you ever heard uh, of cannibalism radiation. among astronauts? Even if you take into account your excessive consumption of water and food, resorting to this would not be easy. <laughs> if you can hear us and want to get rescued, we are waiting for you at these coordinates. Those are very big numbers. We look at this over here. Let's get the big monitor. Those are really small numbers. I'm guessing this means it's far away. Alright, so now I get to build a service module. Is there a way out of here? What is this down here? Well, I don't know, we'll see now. Or we'll have to see now. I, I wasn't expecting to have to do all this rigmarole before we could build our first habitat. So let's see. 
no idea how to get back to the um, back to the other shuttle. Pull out from the stone. Rocket vacuum cleaner. set into any tube in order to get into outer space, although the floors or ceilings of modules and corridors through the floors or ceilings and corridors unhindered. Okay, so I need a tube.
That was weird. That was very weird. Okay, so airlock. Small airlock, big airlock. Okay, I could have used that one. Why don't I have my inductor anymore? With uh, something from physics force that applies supply the station with power, its principal work is based on some physical laws which allows it to effectively use the resources and convert them into clean energy. to the inductor on him. something. Um, I'm going to have to review this and just see what's going on. Now, sure, I can just go and, you know, see other people have done this before, go and look at their videos, but that's not really you know, what I want to do, I don't want to just copy other people's videos and, you know, make a video with all the knowledge. Okay, so it looks like I've lost the construction kits, so I have to make new construction kits. Okay, not the end of the world. Habitation module with four replaceable blocks for walls. The most undemanding of options for construction. It serves an ideal place to relax, eat, watch pornography. <laughs> Cozy little room, right. Tube, corridor, medium service module. Eight replaceable blocks of walls. The best option to start building for large space station, electric oxygen generators, research table, interphone. All this will fit there. Oh, 
Okay, hold on. So... Basically, these only fit into the medium-sized one. So work as an exit gateway, depending on... <coughs> So you can't... Put my generator... Right, okay, I see the icons now. Okay, so... I, I didn't realize that. I just thought that these were like... Because these all seem to be service parts. Um, that's why they had the little sort of hexagon flower module in there. So I can put big windows in a small module, but these have to go into the medium modules. Right, I didn't realize that. I only mean, just found the, the, the medium sized module. I haven't really had a chance to look at the descriptions and stuff. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, well, I'm going to end it here. Um, hopefully we can, in the next episode, get to building this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather the resources to make the construction kits. I've got electronics. So I'll have to remake the construction kits. Um... So I don't know what the point of a small habitation module is then. Maybe it's an offshoot to the main one. And I don't know what happened to my inductor. No, I don't know. Didn't put the inductor away, did I? No, I didn't. So what happened to it? I don't want to relax watching a exciting movie. You fly there, the main thing, stay close to that, to the anti-asteroid turret. I get its signals from you. <laughs> stay close to the turret, I'm yeah, sure. Because the generator's there. I didn't build a generator, I built an inductor. Or did I? Oh, I must have. There's two wire missing. So the inductor disappeared for some reason. the inductor to build the... Ah, I used the inductor to build the dispenser. I thought I had the inductor the whole time, I didn't. Okay, so that was a little bit confusing and a little bit frustrating having to go out there twice now and not being able to build the habitation modules. I think they could really do to make it clearer that the generator, the oxygen generator and stuff only go on the medium module. I think that would be great if they could be a little bit more clear about that. Go, you know, give it a little tag that says medium or large modules. Because I thought yeah, it was available at the same time the small service module was available. So naturally I you know figured that it would fit in there, but it doesn't, it's too big by the looks of things. Alright, well maybe next time. <laughs> Best laid plans of mice and men aside. 
maybe next time we'll get to actually build the habitation module. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for um, clicking the notification bell. And I'll catch you guys next time.